Hello again folks, um, <coughs> Macabre uh, Studs arrived today from uh, Tim Kerr at uh, Pro Part Engine Parts over in Ireland. So after the standard GX270 gasket set I've just opened this one right up now with a Stanley knife and I'm going to be doing the same with this one in a minute, just holding it up visually you can see compared to let's get it in the light. Compared to a stock GX270, the, the 390 carbon insulator is a lot bigger bore. So I'll just show that in with a pen and I'll I'll cut the the excess out. You probably have also noticed I've based on I think it's a German website to tune GX270s up for car racing. Um find a curb. I was going to show you this later, but while, I, while I'm here, um, it's just basically a throttle return. It's the first time I actually tested it all in situ. I didn't have any suitable springs at all, so what I've done here makes it quite tough steel. What I've got is a, uh, you can see that, just taking a welding rod. Back to the and mound, uh, a socket adapter thingy, and then just annealed it and the gas torch just to, and then it cool slowly just to uh, stop it from failing really. It's a bit stiff, but it should be alright when I've got a throttle lever on against it, fighting against it. Some other bracket fitted on here somewhere with a throttle cable coming out in there. Uh, that should work a tree. I mean, it's a bit, bit of a big spring, really, but it does for now. I can always get a smaller spring later or something. But since it cost me no, I can't complain, can I? And that's just the bracket's just a, a bent piece of strip aluminium I had lying around. Just drill the holes, bent it in the vise. It's easy to work being aluminium. So you can tell it's quite an hard spring but I'll just put a little screw in the top of there but I'll show a picture of the, uh, the cart in question where I took the idea from and probably put a link onto their website so that's next so that's the other gasket now cut as well I'll just put an extra because it's on the other side is the overflow relief whatever you call it so I'll just cut a little square out the overflow. I'm back again. Just a uh, very, 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 very quick update. I need something to hold the choke on, and rather than using that big rod like I have on uh, the GX200s that came out and over and then down to hold the choke lever on, I've just got this little dainty bit of uh, the same kind of weld welding rod wire, whatever you call it, just coming off the top of the one of the, uh, the fuel tap screws. Cross and up. Not very good for taking video this really this phone, but you get the idea anyway, it just stops it from it stops it from coming off anyway, so a little bit lighter, a little bit less intrusive than the uh, the old design on the two hundreds I used to do. So there you go. Might be useful to one or two of you.